everyone, this is Chris from the 365. I'm down here at the beautiful Feather River right near the Municipal Auditorium and I thought I'd take you guys on a quick little walk with me down on the riverfront here so you can see what it looks like in case that you guys haven't decided to come down here and see it since the water's receding. So I'm just going to really quick show you back there. That was, before the um, three spills that we've had, that was an island. I mean, there's, you can still see there's some vestiges of it, but as you can see, all the trees are laid down flat. Now, um, that's because the, there was so much water. At one point, even where I was standing here was in, in danger of getting over, uh, overtopped by the water that was here. So, been quite an experience seeing all this and just, just see it all beautiful green and how nice it is right now it's just great for me so I'm gonna take a take you guys on a little walk and while I'm doing that I'm gonna kind of get myself out of this picture a little bit so you guys can see what you would normally see as you're taking a walk down this riverfront so as I'm doing this I'd like to tell you guys that the water right now is at uh, 13,000 cubic feet a second that's been pretty consistent for the whole time that we've been, uh, since the spillway has turned off. Let's see, get you guys up a little higher. Um, so that is also, the reservoir level right now is at 824 feet, which is actually a significant decrease from what it has been. Uh, not, that it's, not that it's a huge decrease, but over the past few days it had kind of stalled. And now it is actually, um, getting a little bit more water out than it is. Their goal right now is about 770 feet, which is quite a reduction over what we've normally seen. Oh, here, oh, I don't know if you could see that. That was a butterfly. Next time I see one, I'll stop and get a picture of it. But it's just absolutely gorgeous down in this area. I mean, I hope that this is all translating as well as it is on the phone for me. If you can see, everything's green. Uh, that doesn't last very long around Oroville, as you guys all know if you're from here. If you're not and you're watching this from a, uh, another state, then Oroville has about a two-month season where it's green and then about six, seven months where it is absolutely brown and then somewhere in between for the rest of the time. Still very pretty. As you can see, that water is flowing kind of fast. Let me see if I can get us between these trees here. Get us up and over some of these trees. There we go. If you can see that, the water's actually flowing pretty fast down in that area. So, still not the most safe place to go swimming. Might be nice to cool off on the side of the bank, like near bedrock or something, but not the best place right now to go swimming in. I did see some kayakers when I was doing my report yesterday. Very interesting. Kind of get you guys up a little higher. We're coming to a, we're coming to a more open area here. So, as you can see, it's there's a lot of foliage that kind of blocks the river on part on this part of the path. But every once in a while, you get just a gorgeous view like this. So right now, I am just past the municipal auditorium. I'm going to take you guys down to this little beach area. Well, not a beach necessarily, but see that area right down there? That's a place where, how about it? a place where you can access the water. Directly across the way there, all that, that is the part of the fish hatchery where they actually keep the young fry and um, put them in ponds and stuff. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to back up on that choice. If you can look down in this area here, there's actually some, well, I'll try it. There's some pretty big rocks, so if you see this camera suddenly bounce, and that you see me kind of laying sideways, um, call 911. There's a problem. <laughs> Let's get you down here. There we go. Trying not to fall and slip too hard. Let's get you a little pan around here so you can see everything. There we go. Let's kind of pan you around. You can see the green bridge hopefully there in the distance. 
That is what we call the Thermalito Bridge, the Green Bridge. There's many names for all of these little landmarks around here. So it looks like that's what I have for you guys today. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for coming on this little walk with me. I might do this a couple more times. Uh, if you ever want to come walk with me, actually, you can always message me on my Facebook, Chris Saraga. Uh, you can look that up. There's not a lot of Chris Saragas on Facebook. You can message me at the 365. That's the 365 Facts. Uh, at just type that into the search part in Facebook. Or you can uh, look at my YouTube videos at Veritex C on YouTube and you can message me on any of that part too. I'm happy to talk to any of you guys. Happy to come hang out and take a walk if you want to. Or just sit, watch, see the drones, see the equipment I use or come and do a report with me. Anyway, thank you very much. Have a great day. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.